I figured it out. I got it. I figured it out. The alchemist has changed. You know how every time I I make one of these, I'm like, hey, the alchemist is like able to do this, and then it changes. Well, guess what? It changed again, but this time it's gonna stay this way. Now, I, I said that the alchemist is able to use any weapon. Blah 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 blah. Any weapon. Now that has changed. Now, uh, my alchemist class is now able to use transmutation weapons and that's it and that adds a skill type transmute so they don't have the alchemist doesn't have uh, you know doesn't have magic or special the alchemist now actually has a mix command that I called synth you know short for synthesize and a uh, first of all I gotta I gotta thank Victor sent for the mix actions thing because man I was doing it a way that was like real crappy and then I decided to just look up the mix thing and Victor yo Victor you help me out man cuz my alchemist wouldn't wouldn't be great without it and so far I but uh, I, I don't have ma very many mix things. I only have that right there. So I, I need to make more. But yeah. Uh, okay. So that's for the mix. For the Agamist, uh for the first transmutations, you get them all. You get uh, five transmutations all at level one. And they're different weapons. So, and they're they're permanent after you uh, after you spend the MP, and uh, you can you can just switch which one you're using. But the first one is a spirit sword, which I have these down here. Uh, I'll tell you how I made them first. Uh, I just transmute skill type user I give them all the same 25 MP uh, and then I made a common event for each one of them which is just change weapon alchemist weapon equal spirit sword you know I did that with uh, all five of them uh, and whenever you whenever you have one of these equipped they will give you four different skills uh, the first one being dispel for each one of them and dispelling each one gives you a different effect so dispelling the spirit sword will heal all allies for 15 percent and it will unequip that weapon basically making it not exist anymore for the magus cane does the same thing but 15 percent SP uh, the devil's fist uh, I need to give that one something this is just me copying and pasting the uh, the spirit swords dispel. The variable shield adds wall and barrier, which gives you 20% uh, defense and magic defense whenever you dispel it. And the soul reaper, which uh, halves the hit points of all enemies that it hits. And I just I, I made it target enemies, recover hit points, and uh, actually I don't even think I need to do that to do this. Uh, recover hit points, negative 50%. I probably could have did a formula that just halves enemy as attacks, but whatever. And for the regular transmutations, I, again I don't have very many of them because I just started them, but I got excited and I wanted to tell everybody the changes to the alchemist. Uh, explode, where you transmute the air around an enemy to an explosive gas. Uh, and ignite it. There. It's just a, a magic 
attack, uh, a fire magic attack for the for the alchemist barricade, which uh, has the same probabilities as probabilities properties. Sorry for being an idiot. I'm, my brain is going so much faster than my mouth right now. As uh, the necromancer's summon skills, which I still don't have, but basically it summons an actor. Uh, the barricade cannot move. It's just gonna stand there, and it's got like a 1,000% target rate, so only the barricade will ever be attacked. Uh, melee. That's how you spell melee, right? Anyway, uh, the barricade pops up in front of the... between the party and the enemies. The party will be unable to attack with melee skills and it will last until it is gone. Uh, and I, I had to add a state called seal physical which just seals every physical attack that I saw. In including regular attack. So if you're a ranged class like a sniper with a bow or a gunner or if you have uh, ranged ranged magic you can still attack the enemies but they can't attack you because they will have to kill the barricade before uh, before they can get to you now I still need to figure out a way to make the seal physical state uh, disappear once the barricade is once the barricade is gone but I should actually change that name to seal melee because it's not it's not all f just physical eh. melee seal melee so it's just anything close up uh, you can't remove at the end of battle uh, mm. You know what? I'll remove it by damage. 100% chance to be removed by damage. So, once they're, you know, once the barricade's gone, they'll be hit, you know? So that's why. And uh, that'll get stronger as the alchemist does. Because I made it a special class and everything. With, uh, it'll only get to, like, level 50. Because if the alchemist gets to level 99, it's half the level of the alchemist. 140, uh, HP and 133 defense. So it, I should probably make the defense just a little bit lower, actually. Because I don't want it to... I want it to only give you a couple of turns, you know? Uh, let's see. 250, 200. 50, 108? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, now to the weapons that I... The transmutation weapons. The alchemist weapons. You got the spirit sword. A sword made of pure spirit energy. Transmuting spirit energy is a tough thing to do for any alchemist. Now, the sword doesn't do much. It is your, uh, as you can see, it's got custom parameters. The attack equals user level times .35. Uh, this is how the stats are gonna be for all of the alchemist weapons. Uh, they're not the same, but it's all gonna be, ba it's all gonna level up with you. So. The higher your level as the alchemist, the stronger your your ability to transmute these weapons is, and therefore they will be this much better. I think I did a uh, hold on. Let's bring up that calculator. I I forget what it was, but if you're max level, your attack 
with the spirit sword will be 34.65, so probably 35. You know, I don't know if it's going to round up or down or anything. Uh, so, uh, defense at max level, 0 0.08 will be 8. You'll get 8 extra defense, so on and so forth. Uh, the Mage's Cane got really crappy attack and defense. It also increases your max uh, mana, max MP, by uh, user level times 2. So max level you'll be getting uh, 186. No, that's wrong. <laughs> 199 plus 99. God dang it. Why am I losing this? Uh, 190s? No. God dang it, I had this before. It's easy math, but my brain is going too fast. So, comment and tell me how stupid I am. Uh, but the magic attack is the 35. Magic defense is 0.15. I might change that to 0.2. But, there you go. Uh, Devil Fist to give you Fist's weapon. Oh, I should tell you about the... Uh, the Magus Cane does more than uh, the Spirit Sword. Because all it does is it attack element fire for Spirit Sword. And adds the, the few skills that it does. Magus Cane uh, is Earth Element. Also gives you plus 15 Magic Evasion. And plus 5% Magic Reflection and a 5% MP regeneration. Devil Fists. It's uh, a set of gloves made from shadows. Given artificial life made in much the same way as a homunculus. Uh, it's darkness element. You get to attack an extra time and you add a 15% counter chance and this inc increases your agility and your attack, but mostly your agility. The variable shield is purely defensive. You can still attack with it and stuff, but it increases your max HP by the same uh, thing as the Magus Cane does MP. It actually lowers agility by 5%, or not 5%, but by 5, so it doesn't even have a, an agility modifier in the custom parameters. Because even if you're getting, you're getting your shield making abilities are getting stronger with level, it's gonna weigh the same, is what I was thinking. Uh, crappy, crappy offensive abilities, but a point four for defense and magic defense, which is higher than the thirty-five attack that I gave the spirit sword so your defense will probably go up around uh, uh, like roughly roughly like 40 you know if you're at level 99 your defensive stats and it also uh, reduces the elements by 20% Uh, but it increases the target rate by 150%. And then we have the Soul Reaper, the be-all, end-all transmutation weapon. It is a powerful weapon that sucks the life from its wielder in exchange for power and the ability to suck life from enemies. Now, this one comes with a negative 15% percent HP regeneration so while you're equipped with this you are losing 15% of your health every turn and including walking I'm pretty sure but you get a point six to attack a point two to uh, magic attack and a point four to agility. Point ten to 
defense and magic defense. It's really strong. And whenever you attack, you regain 8% of the damage that you dealt. So, uh, you're losing 15% every turn, but if you're offensive enough, you're only going to be losing uh, 7%. Well, I guess it depends on how much damage you're doing. You probably... I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to make that go down, actually. Uh, let's make that 4%, because the damage is going to be crazy high with this. And I want you to still be losing life from wielding the Soul Reaper, but I want you to, like, be able to deal with it because of how much you're gaining. And that's how I'm making the, the Alchemist. Uh, if you want to see some mixed skills, give me some, some items to make uh, as ingredients. I don't have anything for salt yet, but I know that I want salt in there. Like, I got blast casings plus fire essence equals a fire bomb, or you could fire essence with living oil to make napalm. Eh. Got all kinds of stuff, and I just got a text. Alright, uh, I also started fixing up the alchemist's stats. I've only done HP and MP so far. Uh, MP, you start off with 10, so you'll only be... You'll have to get to level 11 before you're able to actually transmute any of these weapons. Because they all cost 25. But, as I said before, you can, uh, you can use them outside of battle or inside of battle. And uh, it'll permanently equip them. They're not te they're not temporary, so you could just switch between them from the get go. Uh, Soul Reaper won't be very good until later levels because you'll be losing what you'll be losing that 15% uh, health with not as much to gain for it. But still, it's it's still going to be stronger than everything else, attack-wise. Uh, so if you got any ideas for uh, weapon-specific skills for the Alchemist, or tr re just transmutation stuff that he can use with whenever he doesn't even have a weapon... Uh, or if I should just add a mix of different classes stuff to each of these. So I could add some, like, for the Spirit Sword, I could add, like, a Blade Master skill or a Squire skill or something. For the, for the Shield, I'll add Knight skills, like, protection-based stuff. But I'd have to change it to an MP cost. Because I don't want him to have TP. But you, tell me what you think about that. That's my... That's how I got the Alchemist now. Uh, oh, uh, just a quick update. I added Burning and Bleed. And I increased the amount of damage that Venom does to 10%. So you can now stack Bleed, Burning, and... Uh, and Venom together. Burning only does 3% damage every turn, uh, but it lowers the attack by 10%, so that's why that one's cool in my mind. Alright, that's it. Uh, also, if anybody can tell me how to use Tomowaki's freaking uh, side-scrolling script, this is a, just a test. I'm getting, I'm getting it a little bit, but it's still it's kind of confusing because I'm having to translate it all from Japanese. But anyway, that's it. Hope you have a nice day.